Hello everyone, welcome to the mobile arena. Um, the video that I'm doing today might be a long overdue video. Um, so I'm not sure if people still need this, but regardless, I'm going to put this video out just so then if there's any questions or comments that people want to say about it, they can um, ask me because I'm, I'm not popular enough that I don't reply any comments yet. So if you have any questions regarding this issue, you can ask me. So what is this video about? Today, the video that I'm doing is about how to use APK files. And for, I guess, a year now, I've been always saying, oh, there's a free APK for this application or this game. And I know that most of you or some of you know what that means. But at the same time, there's still people that aren't really sure what that is and what that does for um, for the game. Now first things first, if you're an iPhone user then you can forget about using APKs and next we're gonna go on for the Android users what the APK is, it is basically a file that you can install on your phone to get the application where instead of having to go into the Google Play Store. Now depending on what kind of game that you have you can use this function to get the game that you want rather than having to go on the Play Store and download it but uh, there are some things that you need to look out for. Now, I'll show you my take on what how to install the APK. Uh, I feel that this is probably the best way. But I sometimes I do this more on the computer first and then I transfer the file over. But regardless, I'm going to show all this on the magnificent HTC One. So here we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process that I choose and I'm going to use Minecraft, the Pocket Edition, as a good example of what to do. Now the first thing you do is you go on the Google Play Store and right now I already searched Minecraft but regardless you go on the Play Store and you look for the application that you want. In this case our example is the Minecraft Pocket Edition which goes for 7 bucks Canadian. So you click that application and as you can see, you can it'll say um, seven dollars to buy, and if you want this application and you're not sure if you can find it online, you can first you can look to see. This is important, at least to me. I feel that to see the current version for this game, and now after looking, it will it says that the current version is zero point zero zero point seven point three that is the latest one so in that case you need to make sure that when you're looking for the APK you have that version now the next thing is after you find that you have to go and search on Google Minecraft Pocket Edition version 0.7.3 and if you want the latest application version you should include the 0.7.3 or whatever game application you're getting and you search 0.7.3 and APK. Now, more often than not, you're going to end up at this site, APK Mania. This website, you can access this on the computer, it will be the same thing. This website actually has, um, it's pretty reliable. Uh, you have to be careful not to click any of the random ads. Uh, I know that some people, they, they, they click it accidentally. But it's pretty clear and straightforward about what to do. They talk about the game here. And as you can imagine, next you can download the game. Now when you click download here, it will get take you to this AdFly page. And now don't be afraid that, oh, it's not working or this might be a virus. This is just how they make money from the website. So all you have to do is click skip the ad after and you'll go to this site. And now the next thing is that on the site, there's some misleading things such as download now or play now or other ads. But the important thing is to click the download now. And once you click the download, you'll see that it says that it is downloaded in the RAR file version. And that is also important. So when you download this version, you need to unzip it. So you need to um, open it up to get the APK file inside. That is probably the most important step and it is the step that a lot of people mess up on. If you have any questions regarding that, I'm able to help. Sometimes people get caught up here, but basically you click download now 
and you'll be able to have the file and once you have the file um, there are a few ways to get it on your phone you can either try using AirDroid or depending on what phone you have you can transfer the file over using File Explorer for me I decided to use Dropbox for me to be able to download it and it will be in my downloads right here and let's see as you can see this is the Minecraft Pocket Edition which has been downloaded and the end is APK that is very important remember the end has to be APK in order for it to work and you just click it and you will be led to the installation screen and this screen you get is the exact same one that you get when you download it from the Google Play Store but now you got it from the website and you're able to download it and before we install after you install basically the process is complete another thing to note for is in the settings by default the phones are set so then in the security it won't allow you to use APK files and but they don't say that instead they go here and they'll say unknown sources and this will not be checked and so when it's not checked it won't allow you to install the app from unknown sources basically it's to prevent you and they also have the scare tactic um, granted that it is actually a bit dangerous but um, unless if you really went to download some very shady application if it's a very mainstream application such as Minecraft or maybe Ashfall 8 or um, whatever the popular ones that there are you should not be having damage of phone or loss of data like they say so you have to make sure that this is not this is checked and then after you go we can go back to where we were before and it will tell you about the privacy and device access at this point once you click install it will be able to install it just like any other application you get from the play store but the difference is that you download it from the computer first or from the from the phone first which um, but overall in the end you will still be able to have the app inside now that is what I mean whenever I say that there is an APK file available to download most of the time I actually provide you with the APK file itself but there are some times when you're looking for an application and it might be in a zip file or an RAR file which in that case you need to unzip the file first and make sure the main thing to remember is that before you transfer the file into your phone or you open the file on your phone it has to be an APK. I can't stress that enough. Um, it has to be an APK. If you have any questions or if you want to request any games that you want to have APK files, I can try. If I have time, I can try to find it and give you the link uh, through messages. But in general, that is how you use APK files for Android. And keep keep in mind that as with Android, there's always a slight risk so you need some a bit of common sense like I said before uh, there are some those that site there's some trickery there but they're just trying to make money so some people they might click the ads or other things and they might get tricked but in general there should be not too much of a risk um, I think it's pretty blown out of proportion just like how a lot of people say that Android ecosystem is uh, prone to viruses I think if you're stupid enough to go looking for viruses or go looking into the shady websites then there's really nothing that we can do to help you, to warn you. So just keep that in mind. Um, I hope this video has helped you about uh, using APK files and if you have any questions or comments about this uh, leave, leave the comment below the video. I hope you like this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.